welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now I hope you can hear me because the rain is coming down here. I'm underneath my pergola and this has been the story of the last month. This is why I haven't been able to put any videos out. The weather's been absolutely terrible over the last month here and uh, it's been a bit demoralizing really and I've not been able to put any videos out like I, I've really wanted to. But anyway, I'll talk about that in another video. But for this video, I want to talk about a comet that's in our skies at the moment. And this has kind of taken us by surprise a little bit. This comet was only discovered back in March, I think it was. It was discovered by the Neowise telescope. And the comet is called C2020 F3 Neowise. Now, most comets, um, when they come into the solar system, uh, most of them are not really visible unless you're really looking for them. Um, and quite a lot of them, when they get close to the sun, they tend to break up. Uh, we've had quite a few comets do that over the last few years. And the last comet that I spoke about on this channel was Comet Swan a couple of months ago now. And that had a great promise as well. It, um, it looked like it was going to become a naked eye comet. But unfortunately, as it got close to the sun, it just obliterated. It just completely broke up and... and turned into nothing almost so that was disappointing but this comet comet Neowise um, just in the last week has brightened up to um, certainly naked eye visibility but it, it kind of depends um, what time you look now I'm just going to put a graphic on the screen now which gives you an idea of where the comet is now if you're lucky not like me and you have some nice weather um, the best time to go out is in the middle of the night um, and look towards the north and if you look towards the north you should be able to see a very bright star i'm talking mid-latitude northern hemisphere here a very bright star called capella you cannot miss capella it is so bright and that will be probably at its lowest point where I am it gets down to about 10 degrees above the horizon now the comet is in that area of sky uh, if you look at the graph there you can see that the where the comet's placed right now it's just to the west and a bit lower down than the bright star capella so this is just giving you a very rough idea of where this comet is and to give you a chance of uh, possibly seeing it now, if you do want to go and see it, um, I would advise that you take some binoculars out with you because, um, like I say, it's supposed to be naked eye visibility, but um, I haven't had a chance to see it yet because, well, the weather is absolutely awful where I am. Uh, but um, there is a chance that it could fade. You see, the thing is, the comet has already passed by the sun. It passed by the sun on July the 3rd. And when it came round the other side of the sun, it brightened. Uh, a few reports were saying that it had brightened to naked eye visibility. And you could see the tail as well. Now, interestingly, the comet has not got as close to Earth yet. It's not due to make its closest approach to Earth until July the 23rd. So, um... I'm kind of thinking that uh, that will give us a great chance to see it because there's plenty of time to see it. Now, I do add some caution to that in that it doesn't mean that because it's not made its closest approach to Earth yet, that it's going to get any brighter. The chances are it could fade as it then moves away from the sun. Now, I really hope it doesn't. And I have heard a few reports lately that um, it is still fairly bright and it's, it's going to remain um, I'm not going to say naked eye vis, I don't want to get your helps up too much. I'd take some binoculars out with you to have a look and see if you can spot You will certainly see it with binoculars. The trick is to try and see the comet when the sun is, um, I would say, about more than 10 degrees below the horizon. You will be looking into the twilight sky because this comet is in the twilight sky. You will not see it in a dark sky at the moment. But as we go on, it will possibly move into a dark sky depends how long we can see it for but that's it um, 
uh, just a, a quick video just to let you know and uh, I'm just going to show you another picture now which a friend of mine took which I used as the thumbnail for this um, video and uh, that was taken by Dusty Lens Photography so thanks to Dusty Lens Photography for letting me use your beautiful picture of a uh, comet near wise which was captured in southern England so this goes to show that you we have a really really good chance to capture a, a comet a really good comet um i don't know how big it's going to be I'm, i mean it could be fairly small in the sky but if it's anything like the comet that i saw back in 2013 it does look like it comet ison that was a lovely comet and um and there you go so 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 that's it that's comet c2020 f3 neowise it's in our skies now We've got a great chance to see it in the Northern Hemisphere. Look towards the north after dark. Use the star capella to guide you to the rough area of where it is. Look at the graph, which I showed you on the screen, which was uh, made by Pete Lawrence of the Sky at Night. And use that graph, and hopefully, if you get some binoculars and you look around the, the sky there, to the left of Aurig, and, and remember as well that it's going to move in time. And that hopefully, that will give us more chance to see this comet. So um, I hope you like this little video. Um, I should have put this out earlier because it's caught me off guard this comet because I never thought it was going to get so bright. But anyway, I hope I've given you a good idea about how to spot this comet and I wish you luck and clear skies. And I hope that I get some clear skies too because I really want to see this comet and take a photograph of it. And that's another thing too. Take a photograph of the sky towards the north because even if you can't see it, you might pick it up on your camera. So that's it for this video. Good luck in searching for Comet Nearwise and I'll see you again on another video.